So we use Voronoi polygons to show how we divide up the clientele base when we have multiple locations in a geographic area. For example, if we had a north location and a south location, you can see here that uh, everyone who lives in the north would go to the north location, everyone who lives in the south goes to the south location. As you start to add additional locations, your Voronoi polygons show you how you divide up the geographic area. The way the Voronoi polygons work is that it takes, it creates a line that is equidistance between the two points. So between this point and this point, there's a line halfway in between. Between this point and this point, there's a line halfway in between. So as we start to add more locations, you can see how the graph gets a lot more complicated, but at all times what it's doing is it's taking the distance between every set of points, pair of points, and putting a line in between. So halfway between these two, halfway between these two, halfway between these two, halfway between those two. Now, while this is a great uh, little applet that shows us what the Voronoi polygons look like, and there's a link to it in uh, the video and in Blackboard, the challenge with this is it doesn't overlay on top of a map. And really what we wanna see is we want to see where we're actually dividing the territory on a map. So how do you do that? Well, you need to go and find your map. So here we have Google map of Red Deer. And if we are using a Windows machine, we are going to use a snipping tool. So let's do snip. And we can then just capture the area here. And then we're gonna copy it and we're just gonna paste it into a Word document. Okay. If you have a Mac and it's an older Mac, then you can do that same kind of snipping or, or, gra or um, grabbing of that image with grab it. So you would just type in grab and it would show up there. If you have a newer Mac or it's running the newer operating system, what you want is shift command four, and then you can highlight the portion of the screen that's showing the map that you want. So shift command four, and then we would draw out the area we wanna capture. Okay, so you can do it on a Mac or Windows. And ultimately what you wanna do is you wanna copy paste it into like Word. Now, once we've done that, we want to find our location. So if we have two Walmarts and we can insert and we can just mark them, and you can have you can mark it first in Google and then um, and then capture or you can mark it afterwards. So here we have one Walmart location. Here we have our other Walmart location. So a Voronoi polygon just splits that equidistance. And so if we're going to draw our Voronoi polygons, all we have to do is insert a line and we would draw a line equidistance in between. Okay, and I'll make that a bit thicker so we can see it better. So when you have two, it's pretty easy. We want it to be equally in between. So we're doing a little bit of eyeballing here. Um, and then what if there were additional locations? So what if we had a Walmart, let's say they put a Walmart over here in this new shopping area. Okay. So how do we figure out what that polygon looks like? Well, you could do it by hand and just say, okay, well, we know that it's going to be halfway in between these two. So halfway between these two dots, we're going to have it. We also need it to be halfway between these two. Here. So we're going to need a line that is halfway between this one and that one. Okay, so we're halfway between these two, halfway between these two, halfway between these two. And likely we're starting to get something that looks along the lines that probably has a curve here. this. 
If you're not quite sure of what it looks like, then that's where the Vornai Polygon app comes in because we can go back and we can clear this. We could say, okay, well, we knew we had one Walmart there and we had a Walmart there. So you can see, you know, they don't quite line up. So there's a little bit of an angle to our Voronai polygon. That's kind of this angle that we saw here. And then we can say, okay, well, what if we put one and we were putting one essentially here. So you can start to see how that breaks down and then we can make ours match. Okay, so we have a little extra bend there. Uh, just to kind of get the gist of how you would break down as you add more locations. So everyone in this area of town out east would likely go to this Walmart. Everyone on the north and west would go to this Walmart. And everyone on the south end would go to this Walmart. So we can use the app that we have here to help us approximate what that polygon looks like. And then we can overlay them onto a map to help us see exactly what areas of town. There are other ways to do this where you actually integrate um, apps like this with a map, but that requires a little bit of coding. We can do it in Python, for example. And so that's a bit beyond the scope of the class. Uh, so right now it's just a matter of can you take those polygons and lay them out on the map?